won't be home for dinner. I uh, still, still have some work to do. I have to work on a bunch of things for the meeting. I heard we're gonna have a last second addition to the panel, so it's not looking too hot. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Just hoping uh, that no beep hits the fan, I guess. I, I guess I'm just a little... Uh, uh, well, I should go. I'll be home a little bit late, but I'll, I'll message when I'm on the way back, okay? Hugs and kisses. Who was that? How about for dinner? Oh, okay. He must be pretty busy then. How have you guys been though? He's been pretty busy lately and seems kind of out of it, I guess is the right word. Well, I don't know. Whenever we talk about him, it's always about his next meeting or the promotion or that stupid boss of his. Does he have any room to breathe? When you run that out of a ship, there tends to be a lot of mm, spillage. And as you know, he's the type to clean it up himself or at least pass out trying to. What I'm getting at is, he's not a robot. And I know you know that, sweetie, you do. You know that more than anyone. I just, I just don't want to see you put all this on yourself, okay? That's good. You just have to be there for him. And I'm sure he'll be there for you too. Oh, you know, he's been good. He's in that whole, um, keto thing. So he hasn't been able to eat much, so he's been pretty grumpy. But it's going good. We're good. Oh, I think that's him. I think I should go ahead and go. Thank you so much, dear, for inviting me over so we could hang out and catch up. I really needed it, so thank you. It's fine, it's fine. I'm already full on wine, thank you very much. Oh, Bailey. Hey. Hey, Nora. Um, I was just about to leave, actually. Uh, okay. Um, have you eaten? Don't you want to stay for some dinner? Oh, no, no, no. I already outstayed my welcome. I'll get out of your guys' hair. Thank you again so much, sweetie. Mwah. Remember, spillage, okay? All right, well, I'll go ahead and go. Have a good night, you two. Drive safe. Was that about spillage? Hmm. You don't want to tell me about it? I mean, if it's between you two, it's between you two. That's fine. But if it's something you want to tell me, uh, then I'm here. Right. Huh. She never comes off as sharp, but she is scarily sharp. Well, what did you say? Hmm. Right. <sighs> I'm fine. You know I always am. <sighs> you don't believe me, do you? I can understand. But I am, really. I really am. Honey, I'm being serious. I am. Well, it's kind of hard to tell if you believe me if, if you're not looking at me, you know? Could you look at me? Look, I, I know that I'm maybe not myself for the past however many days, but that's just like the motions of work, you know? I'm... I'm totally fine. I've I've been, you know, having a lot of breaks at work and taking, you know, all the all the rest that I need at home. I really am. If you believe me, then then look at me. Look at me right now and and, and say that you you believe me. Please? 
honey, turn and look at me. Please? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still dirty from outside. Just, I just really need you to, to believe me. I need you to believe that I'm okay. I'm okay, honey, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I want to go to bed. Okay. Could you, could you lay next to me? I'm sorry if I'm asking for too much, but I just really want you to hold me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I messed up today, big time, I messed up the presentation, that extra panelist, it was the, the vice chair, my team leader said it would, uh, that they were eyeing me for a promotion, that's why they brought vice chair on board.
He told me 15 minutes before the presentation. I was so nervous. So, so nervous. The presentation started off, you know, okay. I had my marks, they hit all their notes. But then, then the vice chair asked me something just completely out of left field. And I froze. I've never frozen up in my life like that. And I... I messed up the PowerPoint to start. There was some leftover text in one of the slides and it was so darn obvious. It couldn't have been more obvious. I was stuttering my butt off too. Of course I was, you know, why wouldn't I be? In the vice chair, I messed up his name. It's Vasselhoff. And I called him Vassal Hog. Hey, it's not funny. Uh, it's not funny. <laughs> Gosh, that is so stupid. This is all so, so stupid. My biggest chance to nab that promotion, and I blew it. They all left the room in like 0.5 seconds, too. God, Chucky gave me the most disappointed look. The saddest look. You know, he wasn't even mad. Just, just disappointed, I guess. I'm just trying to put it behind me, is all. It's just... It just feels like I'm, like I failed you, you know? I know, I know, I know, honey. I, I just can't shake the thought off my head. It's, it's so stupid, but I was even scared to come home tonight. I was just staying in the car. I parked in the driveway and I, I just stayed in the car. I really didn't know what to, what to do. I don't know. I... I don't know. It was all in my head, I know, but... I kept thinking that you were gonna be disappointed if I told you. And I, I couldn't just hold something like this from you. And I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I told you. And I, I knew you wouldn't be upset or, or disappointed. I was just being stupid. <sighs> Thank you, really. Thank you. I... I genuinely don't know what took over me. Downstairs, I... I really try my best to act. I, I really try my best to be strong in front of you, in front of everyone, and, and just, sometimes it doesn't work out. But I have never had that type of emotions come out of me in my life, you know? I've never once had some sort of issue with crying on the spot and just breaking down completely. It's never happened before. I don't know. I'm... I'm really sorry, honey. I really am. And a part of me wishes that I... I could take it back, you know, that, that moment a while ago, but... I know you would've... You would've killed me if I... If I didn't let you in on all these things that are... That are going on with me. Just... I just wish that I, I could have, 
I could have handled it better. And that I, and he didn't have to say that. Uh, thank you. I do. I, I, I'd like you to talk. I just, I just, I just want to hear you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I go back on the very first day that I asked you to be mine. I thought that I was so mature. I thought that I had everything covered, you know, maturity-wise at least. I figured that I'd been through so much and I've... I've been able to live with myself just being myself without anyone else then. I figured I could do the same with the rest of my life. And when I first started, that's just really how it went. I didn't have anybody. I didn't have any one. There's a lot of things going on in my head, is what I'm getting at. A lot of things. And I'm really trying to piece it all together and, and move on from it, but it's just really hard. When, when I'm with you, everything just feels like it's complete. You know, when you hold me, it feels right. It feels like I, I really belong. And I do. I know I do. Whenever you hold me, I feel so loved. I feel so cared for. It just feels so right. You just make me feel so special inside. And I couldn't thank you enough for I'm so happy that I'm yours. I'm so proud that you're mine. I just want you to show it off to the world. Just how much I... I need you right now in my life. Can I... Ask for another thing, please. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Can you hold my face? Thank you so, so much. Do you remember the first time that I, that I asked you out back in college? Back then, I only knew you as that really nice looking friend of a friend. And I, I remember going to them and I asked, I asked a lot of questions. I asked a lot of stuff. I, I had this little notebook, like a pocket sized notebook. It couldn't, couldn't be bigger than a pocket sized thing. And I, I asked them about basic stuff and they would answer and I'd just keep track of of all these things until the the time came that I could I could surprise you, I guess, with with my crazy knowledge and all the things that you love. And I had a lot of fun. I really did. I had a lot of fun just messing around and figuring things out and being on calls and hearing your voice and crying with you and smiling with you and, and laughing with you. There's a lot of things that I, that I sometimes think of and wish that I could go back to. Certain times in my life and certain, certain moments where I just remember so many of these details and it hurts my heart while making me happy at the same time. All these memories that I shared with you when we were so much younger, they still stick with me, they're still with me, and I can never just, <sighs> that, that one summer break, we had gotten close at that point, you know, sort of like speaking terms and maybe you'd invite me over for, but I was still, I was still so, so awkward. I, I didn't know what to do with my hands and, and my feet and all these things and all that, just. At this point, I think it's just wishful thinking to, for me to go back to all these things and relive, relive through all these memories fun or not, sad or not, if it means going through all these memories again. Honey, look at me. There isn't a darn thing in this world that makes me feel safer. There isn't a darndest thing in the world that gives me more comfort than you. Maybe you can... I, I, I just hope that I I at least can give you a fraction of the things that you give me. 
make you feel at least half the amount of special that you make me feel each and every single time. spend all this time with you. I really am. Never again. Emotional like this sometimes. I'm just so thankful that you're there listening. I'm mad for you, honey. I am mad for you. And I'm sorry again for breaking down like that. I will... <sighs> but I'm glad that I'm sorry that you had to see me like that a while ago. I hope your image of me isn't just some some guy who's I didn't think I'd get so emotional off of that but lo and behold I'm really glad that you, that you were a part of it. It's just, I'm gonna try to go to sleep, okay? Okay. You should go to sleep too soon, okay, honey? Okay. Good, good, good. Good night, honey. <sighs>